one other way you can preserve your leaf. Sometimes you'll have to take your leaf and maybe press it in between a telephone book or stacked books that are heavy to flatten it out to make sure it's nice and flat and smooth and one, for a day or so. Once it's flat and smooth, you can get clear contact paper from the store and we can cover it with contact paper. So I'm measuring to make sure that I'm wider than the leaf and that I have enough to fold over in half. So I'm going to cut it just to give myself enough room right here. And the easiest thing to do is to fold it in half with the paper you're going to peel off. Make a nice seal, uh, crease, wrong word, crease. Then you'll peel off half of it only. Okay, here we go, here's half. I'm gonna peel it to the crease line that is half. And take my leaf and place it on the contact paper, nice and flat. Once you have it on there, you can peel off the other half and then you're going to carefully fold it where your crease was. And I work my way slowly to the end to try to decrease the amount of air bubbles. Give it a good press. I have a little crease here, but that's okay. This also is not as flat as it could have been if I had pressed this leaf for a day or so. Then you can take your scissors after you have it sealed all nice and tight and you can trim around any way that you like. And if you want, you can punch a hole. You can hang it in your window. And you can use these to make a leaf collection and save all the different types of leaves you find.